Hello guys, I am Lisa from GemPages. Welcome to the video tutorial series, GemPages 101. While product features technically describe what your product can do, product benefits explain why those features are valuable to customers. That's why on a website or landing page, having a section dedicated to your product's benefits is crucial. This section not only helps visitors understand how the product can solve their problems, but also effectively communicates the product's value proposition. Today, let's delve into how to create a great product benefit section using GemPages. First off, open up GemPages Editor and place a row onto your design area. Then drag a heading element onto the row for the title, customize font size, boldness, color, Center the text and insert your content. Above the main title, add a secondary heading as the subheading. Style its content, appearance, and remember to make it smaller. Once again, center align the text. In the Advanced tab, reduce the subheading's bottom margin by half and zero out the title's bottom margin. For the row containing both headings, augment the bottom margin to 56 pixels. This ensures there's enough space between your title and the content below, creating a clean and polished look. All right, let's proceed to the benefit section. Drag and drop a three column row into your layout. Change the column ratios to three, six, three, and increase the column gap to 60 pixels. Now it's time to focus on each column individually. Start with the middle one. Pop in an image element and upload your desired image. In the left column, add a row and then a heading element. Put in your content and tweak the font, size, and color. Keep the text bold and center aligned. Below the heading, include a text block and change the text. Customize the font and center align accordingly. Set the bottom margin of the text block to zero and give a slight eight pixel margin to the heading. Next, move the image element above the heading and select your preferred image. Resize the image by switching the proportion mode to custom and reducing the width to 30%. This completes a small part of the benefit section. Now duplicate this setup up and place it in the right column. Tailor the content and image for each part as needed. For a tidy appearance, select Center Vertical Alignment to ensure the benefits line up nicely in the row. If you need to give them some space, simply increase the bottom margin of each part. With these simple adjustments, your desktop benefits section is all set and good to go. But what about mobile optimization? It's a breeze, actually. Just a few steps to get it right. First, switch over to Mobile View to rearrange things a bit. Maybe you'd like the visual part up top, with the benefits lined up neatly below. No problem. Simply click on that three column row and rearrange the columns, placing column two at the top. Then fine tune the size and spacing to ensure readability on smaller screens. Increase the space between the main visual and the benefit section. Ensure consistent bottom margins for all benefits. Reduce image widths in each benefit. And lastly, decrease font sizes for headings. Once adjustments are made, your mobile optimization is done. Let's see how it shines. 
Now that you've got this guide to lean on, I guess it's easy peasy to craft a product benefit section that looks great and resonates with your audience. This is the end of the video in the GemPages 101 series. I hope you like it. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on all notification bell to learn more fundamental tips and advice to build a store that sells. Thanks for watching.